Good evening. So, um, I'm going to go quickly through your two exam questions. That's pretty much what I'm going to do today. Um, and how we're going to approach them, how we structure them, and that kind of thing. What we can include. You know, just kind of giving you a bit of a breakdown. Um, the two questions that you're going to have to do for me are outline ways in which the working class suffer inequality, 20 marks, and outline and assess conflict explanations of age inequality, 40 marks. Um, I'm going to quickly go through both of those now, um, just you know how we would approach each question in turn. I'm just going to quickly load up a, a Word document here, and I'm just going to... Um, you know, give you some, some, some tips and advice. So for the first one then, outline ways in which the working class suffer inequality. This might have been done if you were with me. If not, then you, um, this is going to be fresh to you. I'm not sure that you would have done class inequality. But, you know, don't be alarmed because this is really simple stuff. You don't really need to have any kind of background knowledge in which to do this because all the information that you need to have a crack at this is in your evidence grids in your course pack remember there is an online copy um, and it's the same structure as any of the other 20 markers that we've done so we need to make sure that we are giving six pieces of evidence in the whole essay as a whole so as always we need an introduction we need to define some kind of concept maybe a summary statement as well just to um, you know, give a, a brief introduction to what you're going to be discussing. Then you need three areas of inequality. Um, I think for the working class, it's things like crime, education, and the workplace. Um, now you want to kind of go through um, three paragraphs. Um, you want to choose an area, so crime, education, workplace, anything like that. Um, and then give me two pieces of evidence that show inequality in that area. And you want to explain what effect that evidence has on the person's life chances or you know how it's actually making them suffer inequality. Because, say for instance, pointing out differences in income doesn't necessarily show the examiner that you understand the effect that that has on the rest of their life as well. Why is it an important piece of evidence to even mention? Because if you don't say that, then essentially they um, they can assume that you don't know that, and you don't want them to make that assumption. Um, you know, you want to think that they're going to be charitable, but they might not be. So you do that three times. You do three areas, each with two pieces of evidence. I can't stress this enough two pieces of evidence per paragraph um, and then maybe just kind of like a, a brief summary and that's all you don't need any kind of background knowledge with which to have a go at this um, so don't panic that you if you haven't done class inequality I want to go back over it eventually um, you know uh, seeing how things go with, with coming back and that I'm not entirely sure what's happening yet but um, we will have the chance to go back over it, so don't panic. You don't need to know that much in order to have a go at this. You just need to know the evidence, and that's all in the course pack. So that's the 20 mark. So now let's move on to the 40 mark question. Outline and assess conflict explanations of age inequality. So if you're watching uh, the video I did on reading exam questions, we know that we need to kind of explain and assess, so give in-depth of evaluations of um, conflict explanations of age inequality. Um, so we need to outline and give detailed evaluations, and the second part of that, there need to be conflict explanations. So hopefully we know by now that, you know, with, with conflict explanations we mean Marxism, we mean um, Weberian theories primarily. Um, those are kind of the two main conflict explanations that you're going to need. Um, try and compare them with, you know, uh, consensus explanations, the functionalists, the new right. Um, show what the differences are. Um, so I would just kind of go through, uh, you know, just as we would with every question, we need to start with the introduction. Now, in this introduction, uh, again, you want to define a core concept. Um, 
and I would just outline the main kind of argument of conflict explanation. Give, and what I mean by that is give um, an overview of what conflict explanations actually are. Um, what are the main conflict explanations? Why? How are they different from consensus? You know, just give a, a brief overview so that the examiner knows what you mean by a conflict explanation. Um, you know, don't assume that the examiner is going to know what you mean, even if you've got the right studies in there. Um, and you also want to give an example of age inequality, a specific example. When I say an example, I don't just mean, you know, talking about media portrayals of, of the elderly. Give the study, you know, really use that um, as a chance to show off your understanding, of, of, uh, to show off your, your knowledge. Then, as always, this is the same as every other 40 mark question, we need to aim for four points. Um, we need to give four evaluated points. So, point one, give an explanation you know, with a study, with some evidence. Then, you want to give a positive and negative evaluation. You want to try and support these with evidence. Okay? Um, a lot of common feedback I'm giving out, and a lot of the feedback I've heard from, from Ellie and Mandy is get these evaluations supported with some evidence rather than just kind of general one sentence claims. Uh, you know, I can't say this enough because it will just kind of keep you down towards the D grade, C grade level because of the, the number of uh, marks it's gonna, you're going to miss out on. Go again, explanation um, with a study. Don't just make the study the point again. I just want to repeat another area of common feedback um, because if you do that you will just you know um, you're not actually writing an essay you're, you're just making a list really um, and you just do that four times you know I've, I've gone through this a few times but you just give me four points with positive and negative evaluations and you just want to make sure really the hardest part is making sure that you've got the right explanations Remember, conflict explanations, we're talking about the Marxist view. So there's a good two or three there you can use. Or the Weberian, another kind of one or two that you can use there. Um, for the really high-grade stuff, weave in, in your evaluation, some comparisons between conflict and consensus. Show you understand that broader debate and you'll really kind of shine to, to whoever's marking your work. Um, and then you just want to come to a conclusion, give a judgment on the overall usefulness of conflict explanations um, and that's it you know that, that's essentially how you would structure those two um, questions the deadline I'm gonna give you a bit longer let me just remind myself of what deadline I've actually set you um, I'm just gonna give you a bit longer because there are two questions you know, I'm, only, I'm only being fair um, so it is due on the Wednesday at 10 o'clock um, so, you know, I've given you a bit longer for it to give you some plenty of time to make sure that you, if you have any questions, send them my way um, or whoever would be your teacher normally. Um, send them, you know, get them answered. You've got plenty of time to to address any concerns and really have a good go at this and, and show us that you, um, you know, that you're on the ball, that you've really engaged with everything we've done so far. Okay, best of luck.